Welcome to another episode of Hardcat Feature Focus. In this episode, we're going to show you the searching, reporting, and export functions available within the purchasing module. To access the purchasing module search functionality, we have to open up our purchase order grid screen. To do that, we can click on the purchased. To do that, we can click on the purchase icon, or we can click on lists purchase orders. When searching on purchase orders, there's a couple of different areas that we can search against. We can search on the area purchase orders, which allows us to search on the base information around a purchase order. The purchase order status, the purchase order supplier information, contact, location information. We also have access to the purchase order items details and purchase order components. Purchase order item details are the individual line entries that are associated to a purchase order. The purchase order components table is the table which breaks down the line entries into the multiple lines once a budget is assigned, once the delivery has taken place, and once the invoicing information has been assigned to the line entries. Depending on what you're searching on and what reporting you want, depending on which tables that you wish to search on, if you're just looking for a list of currently confirmed purchase orders, the purchase order table is the area that you would be wanting to search on. If we want to find all purchase orders that are currently confirmed, we can do a search on the stat status name section. S order status name contains a text. As we can see here, we have five purchase orders which are confirmed. From here, we can now run a fixed report based on this information, or we can create a chart. If we're looking for other information around purchase order or more granular details, we can go to the purchase order components table. This table here gives us a lot more, lot more reports to run around in, uh, our purchase order area. For example, our line item report will give us a list of all the line items currently associated to our purchase orders. Ordered by purchase order, which then also shows us the tax amount, price, excluded a quantity. If the asset has been created, it will then show us the asset code that they were created against. If we go down to our previously created order 23, we can see the five asset codes of the five PCs that were created. Other reports that we have within the purchasing module can be accessed via the fixed reports button. Here we have access to our budget reporting, our cancelled purchase order reports, our invoice general ledger reconciliation reports, our, again our line item report, order versus invoicing reporting, order history reports, invoicing reports, supplier reports, as well as tax based reports. Users can also create their own custom reports in the system based around the purchase order table, the line item details, the invoice tables, or our purchase item, purchase order template tables. Users can also export data out from the purchase order area by clicking on the export label. And from here we can choose our, again, our component information, our template information, and our budget information can be exported as well. We also can import or export our currencies from here as well to set up new currencies or import new ex daily exchange rates if required. We also have the functionality to use our grid export functionality to save whatever data we have based on our search result directly to Excel. We also have to remember that the data that we see in our grid is personalized as what we see in our grid screen is personalized to our own individual login. Thank you for watching this episode of Hardcat Feature Focus. If you have any questions about the Hardcap purchasing module or the reporting or exporting functions that are available, please don't hesitate to contact our sales team at sales at hardcat.com or visit our website www.hardcat.com. Thanks for watching.